Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. So in this short video, I am going to prompt you when to consider what kind of nonlinearity in your FE model. So that is based on your type of problem you are handling and the kind of structure you are looking into. To start with, I will uh, quickly inform you about the when to consider the geometric nonlinearity in your model. So typically the geometric nonlinearity is, is the one which accounts for the changes in the stiffness of your structure due to large deformation. So those applications are like slender members if your structure ha happen to be a slender member and the cables and if the strain so once you do a linear analysis and if your strain happens to be more than 5% then uh, it is suggested to uh, trigger this geometric nonlinearity and when you handle the problem which involves large displacement or rotations and then the planar shells. So the planar shells are typically they offers the membrane stiffness along with the bending stiffness so this is extremely important to you know why I strongly recommend you to consider the geometric quality when you uh, consider when you are handling the planar shells with a uh, with a pressure or the force kind of a, a loading structures okay so let's move on to the other quality that is the material quality for the material nonlinearity, so this is typically we we consider both in the Abaca standard as well as uh, that is implicit as well as the explicit simulations. So when we talk about the material nonlinearity, so you might be aware of it. Like when it if it exceeds the yield material stress, then we have to consider the material nonlinearity. Uh, that is, uh, we have to define the the plastic uh, curve as well along with uh, with the modulus of the material to capture the behavior above the the yield point for the structure and the examples in was like if you you are handling the crash or explicit kind of simulation we have to define the the material nonlinearity and then if you are handling the plasticity part then you have to define the material nonlinearity as well as the important part is so when you handle the non metal materials like the rubber wood foam or adhesive these are inherently has this uh, non linear behavior that material there is the stress and the strains are not proportional they they keep uh, varying so for that we have to define the the elastic plastic curve for these kind of uh, non metal materials okay and uh, let's move on to the where the examples where you need to consider both geometric as well as the material nonlinearity. So when you solve the metal forming, so metal forming where there is a flow of the material as well as there is a change in the geometry. So in this kind of uh, simulations, the complex complex simulations, we have, you have to consider both uh, geometric as well as material nonlinearity, then nonlinear buckling and then the contact the creep and the viscoelastic. So when you talk about the viscoelastic and the creep, we need to define the modulus in time temperature domain. So with all this, uh, these two, two types of nonlinearity, when we solve in, in abacus, it has to be solved in, as an incremental load step. So for the load steps, when you talk about the abacus standard or implicit kind of simulation, and it would be a time step when we talk about the explicit kind of simulation. So the important thing is, when we define these two nonlinearities, the geometric as well as the the material nonlinearity, the the given load is divided with the smaller units, and that is incrementally applied to understand the behavior of structure and account the change in the stiffness of the due to the change is due to the large deformation. So this is uh, what I wanted to give you the quick snapshot of examples where you need to consider what kind of nonlinearity. I'll try to summarize in one slide and this will help you to uh, make a quick quick decision about uh, you know the nonlinearity part. Uh, guys, uh, this is what I wanted to uh, quickly uh, give you a glimpse of uh, the nonlinearity part and uh, I hope you find this useful and you can make a, a fair decision looking at this uh, summarized chart and you can account for those particular nonlinearity in your model and we also we are working on a detailed uh, video which will cover off on the geometric nonlinearity as well as the material nonlinearity so that we will uh, bring it to you soon so as of now you can use to these uh, a quick guidelines high level guidelines to help you uh, account the various uh, nonlinearity in your model so thank you bye bye